piece of shit chair. So I know there are going to be people in the comments that are going to be like, oh, this guy spent so much money in his Mazda, blah, 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 all this shit. At the end of the day, I really don't care. Like, I work hard for my money. I work full time. I am in an apprenticeship program right now and I still work full time. So I have full time school and full time work. I bust my ass off. I can spend my money on whatever I want to. And the thing about me is I don't like debt. So the thing about me is I actually don't have any school debt. So I basically work full time for a good amount of time. That's how I was able to afford the car. And right now I'm in an apprenticeship program and that's already paid for. So I don't have any debt. So sure, yeah, for a guy my age to, have to spend that much money on a car, sure, it's a lot. But I know basically everyone who goes to school has way more debt than I have. So I mean, yeah, sure, it costs a lot of money. It's not making me any money. I mean, at some point it will with this whole YouTube thing if it goes well, but regardless of the point, um, it's a lot of money, but it's worth it to me. Whatever, I'm a car guy. If you don't like cars, you'll never understand. Uh, so, this was the kind of video I didn't really want to make, but here I am. Here's my uh, my uh, 2013 Mazda Speed 3 sitting at around 188,000 kilometers. She's, she's the daily. I freaking love this car to death, man. But God, this shit is expensive and we're, we're gonna expose how expensive it was to build this car. So, without further ado, got my laptop with me, this Asus Zenbook. We're gonna break it down here. Let me log in first. Because I don't wanna sound like a broken record saying, oh, I bought this used, I bought this used. I'm gonna make this very clear from now. Everything I bought for this car was used, but if it was new, I will mention it. So if I give you like a price that sounds really cheap, it's probably because I bought it used. But if I bought if I bought it new, I'll mention it. So we're going to break it down into a couple categories. So first, I'm going to do exterior mods. Then we're going to do interior mods. We're going to talk about wheels, tires, and suspension, and brakes, and all that type of stuff. Engine bay cosmetic mods, and then performance mods. So you're transmission engine mods anything like that so yeah everyone just looks at me weird whenever I record a video exterior mods so hmm hmm man this is this is gonna be fun okay my eyelids I got that for $50 I paid $50 just to get them vinyl wrapped by someone because it turned out a lot better when someone else did it compared to me so $50 my red calipers I painted $20 for the paint so for window tints, the car actually came with window tints except for the two front windows. So I only had to pay $50. My gloss black, bleh. my gloss black roof wrap, I paid $75 for. I paid a shop to do that. And I got it for like some sort of promo, like they were doing like a sale on it. So I hopped on it. They only did it for like 75 bucks. I think like the standard price now is like anywhere from like 150, $250. So I got a good deal on that. My Project M wing extension, okay, I bought this new. I bought it, so this is including everything. Shipping, taxes, anything like that. I include all of that if I bought it new. That was $115. So we have my Evil M badge. I paid $10 for that off eBay. And then I get a lot of questions about this mod. It's my taillights. They're literally just VHT nightshaded, so I paid for the can, it was like 20 bucks. And then, so mind you, some of these prices are like rounded up or rounded down. Most of them are pretty accurate, but if I bought like a can or some shit like that, I'm just going to round it up. Signal light tint and fog light tint, I did that myself. I just got the tint and that was $15 from Amazon. Uh, to paint the headlights for all the materials and all the other shit, give or take like $150. My front lip, I got that for $100. Uh, I got that used for a really good deal. It's holding up pretty good. It's my only front lip. It's holding up pretty good. Okay, so this I actually bought new is my Ventus Auto Works rear diffuser. By far one of my favorite pieces of the car. I paid $400 for that. I actually got it cheaper than what it's worth. So if you go on the Ventus Auto Works site, it's actually like $450. So if you're local and you pick it up from him, he'll give you like a better deal. So I paid around $400. Side skirt lip, I got that for 30 bucks. 
you're not finding a better deal than that. That's all I'm going to say. I bought my side skirt lips for $30. They were blue when I got it, but I painted it black and they look good now. My Bradley Armour mud flaps. So I bought this new, but I got it off clearance. So I paid $130 for it. Rain guards, $50. For my lug nuts, I actually got those for free because my buddy, he works at a shop and he actually stole them from his work and he just hooked me up with it. So that was nice, $0. And then, so the sun visor. So you see like that tinted strip part on the top of the windshield, that's called the sun strip. It's just to like, you know, mitigate the amount of sun that comes into your face, like when it's super bright outside. I paid $50 to get that done. And then next we have my open mouth, my Basinar GV front grill. I got that new. I paid $330 cash for it. By far one of my favorite exterior mods of the car, hands down. Carbon fiber hood scoop. So I paid around, okay, I bought this new. I paid around $300 for it and then I paid $100 to get it PPF'd. If you have any carbon fiber parts in your car that are like pretty big, like a hood scoop for instance, or maybe like a hood, I would highly recommend PPFing it just because it protects it from like rock chips and it doesn't like it oxidized after a while. Highly recommend it. It is expensive to PPF carbon fiber, but if you want it to look good for a long period of time, just PPF it. So next we got my carbon fiber air duct. I got that new as well. I got that off Amazon for $55. Mind you, all these prices are Canadian. I just want to make that very clear. I live in Canada, so all these prices are Canadian. Mind you, I think most of these prices are going to vary between like other people just because I got these new and used. But Project M Canards, I paid $110 for that. I got that new off of Project M's website. I'm not going to lie. At first when I did the Canards, I wasn't really like... It was kind of like iffy, but now that I have them on, I've had them on for a while, I freaking love it, man. And then the last, like, cosmetic mod we have is my Cork Sport Stubby Antenna. It's just like half the size of a stock antenna. I paid $30 for that, and that's about it for the exterior mods. And that comes up to a grand total of $2,190. So, it's a lot, but could be worse. I know some guys spend like 20 grand just on cosmetics, but... You know what's funny is, it looks like I've a lot of, it looks like I've done a lot to the exterior of the car. I did, but at the same time I didn't, and I really didn't spend that much. So next we have interior mods. So this is probably the cheapest category of all of them. So I'm gonna go through it quickly. So for the 5D interior carbon wrap, I paid $25 for the whole roll. I think it was around like five feet, and five feet was just enough to get all the trims. I got it off Amazon, so 25 bucks, well spent if you ask me. My Cobb shift knob, I paid $60 for that. My Eonin head unit, I bought that new. I paid $350 shipped to my door. Some shit box car. I got a triple gauge pod pillar. Again, I don't know where I got it. Or sorry, I don't know where you can get it. I bought it used. I got it for $50. And then my steering wheel wrap, I got that new for $110 shipped to my door. By far worth it. It's way better than spending, especially for us Canadians, you're spending like five, six hundred dollars for a good steering wheel. And I only paid a hundred dollars. Well, a hundred ten to be exact, but it looks just as good and it was a fifth of the price. So, I mean, you really can't complain. One of my favorite, or honestly, one of my favorite like interior mods is my three gauges to add onto the triple gauge pillar. So my Cork Sport oil temp, oil pressure and coolant temp, all from Cork Sport, all those gauges plus the adapter plate, for the oil temp and oil pressure uh, gauges shipped to my door like that's including everything $530 my interior painting so this is just like for the price of all the paint we bought around like five or six cans of duplicolor black paint and then like three cans of like rust oleum uh, canyon black paint for like all the pillars and shit all the paint came up to $140 sorry some civic ricer guy just pulled up last two things on the list is something i actually got from my previous video i don't know if you guys saw it it was from driven i got a massive speed headrest and massive speed seat belt covers for the headrest i paid 30 dollars, and for the seat belt covers i paid 15 dollars. that adds up to a grand total of 1310 dollars for the interior mods you know not bad not bad for now wait till you get to the other shit but you know not bad Okay, so next part of the list is wheels, tire suspension, and brakes. 
I'm gonna talk about my wheels. I got this for an absolute insane deal. Long story short, I saw these wheels, like the NK TM7s that I have right now. It was off a Lexus IS. And the thing about it was, is the guy was leaving the country on Friday. I hit the guy up on Tuesday. I asked him for $400 for it. He was asking 600. He, he said five. I was like, nope, I'll stick with four. Guy hits me up on Thursday because he can't sell them with them. Hey, hey man, $400 you can pick up today. I'm like, say no more. So I got these authentic N-Key wheels, the TM7s. I know they're not like crazy expensive, but it's still a good deal for $400. Indy 500s, they're 225 4018s. I paid $600 new for that. For suspension, I'm running Bilstein B14 coilovers. I paid $1,000 and let me tell you guys, they were basically brand new. Like the guy only ran them for a season and yeah, I paid $1,000 for it, so pretty good. For my full brake kit, I mind you, I've changed a couple things, but the, for the full brake kit before, I ran the Max Brakes Premium XD Ceramic Brake Kit. So that was rotors, pads, all that shit. I paid $260 for that, but I changed a couple things. For the front pads, I changed them. I got the StopTech 309 front brake pads. I paid $100 for that. My StopTech stainless steel lines, I only replace it in the front, so mind you, the lines and the pads are still like, you know, max and stock, but for the fronts, for the stainless steel lines, I got the StopTech ones, I paid $50 for that. My Moog rear sway bar end links, I paid $80 for that. Next we have my white line rear sway bar, I got this new, I paid $350, shipped to my door. It was expensive, but Man, it was it was worth it. it. It changes the whole handling of the car, man. Let me tell you that shit. Godspeed rear camber arms. I know I get flack for running them, but they're holding up pretty good right now. I paid $120 for that. And all that added up together comes to a grand total of $2,960 for wheels, tires, suspension, and brakes. Man, so as you can see, we've already spent well over five grand. Just j not even like performance yet, so. This is getting interesting, guys. Next, we're going to be talking about engine bay cosmetic mods. So not like performance mods, just like cosmetic engine bay mods. The Cork Sport cooling tank, I got this thing for a steal. I paid $200 for it. And then moving on, we got my hood dampeners. Like the, you know, how you can just like open the hood without the hood rod. I paid $50 for that. And then my Evil M high pressure fuel pump cover. I actually got that for free. I bought like a bunch of parts from this guy and then he gave it, he just threw it in for free. So that was nice of him. Uh, to paint my heat shield, I paid $20 for the paint. My black firewall heat shield, I paid $60 for Jose to custom make that. We got like a sheet of steel and then I basically like paid him to do the rest. And he painted it, everything. It was $60, well worth it. It looks really good. And then next on the list is my coal pack cover plus the paint. That was around $120. And then the last two things. I carbon wrapped my ECU, that was for free. I just had extra carbon wrap laying in my garage. And then last on the list was painting my valve cover, uh, VHT metallic black. That is the same color I painted my intake manifold and my valve cover, same paint. I paid $20 for the paint. And that comes to a grand total of $470 for the engine bay cosmetic mods. The last part of the list and by far the most expensive part on the list is under the hood and yes that's where all the money should be spent if you ask me but you know everyone's different you know there are the guys that get an frs and they spend fucking 25 grand to make it look cool and then only has 200 horsepower i don't know i don't care it's your car but that's just not me i'm like moving my hands a lot probably because i'm just scared to talk about how much money i spent on my car anyways Maglifo Capac plus install and tips. I paid $300. So I got the Maglifo Capac off a trade for my old carbon fiber wing. And then for the install and tips, I, that's where the $300 was spent. My COP access port V3, I paid $600 for that. My Autotech high pressure fuel pump internals, I paid $400 for that. Those things, those two things alone, if you want to modify your speed, I say this a million times, I'm going to say it again. COP access port, fuel pump internals, just have like a rack ready to spend. It's it's just gonna happen, man. It is what it is. Cobb rear motor mount, I paid $90 for that. My NGK Iridium one-step cooler plugs, I paid $40 for that. So for my CPE catted downpipe, I paid $275 for the, for the downpipe, 
plus $150 to install it. So that was $425. Forge bypass valve V2, I spent $110 on that. And by far one of the best deals I got for this car is my front mount intercooler plus the crash bar. It's the ultimate racing front mount intercooler plus the crash bar, same brand. I paid $600 Canadian for that. You are not finding a better deal than that. I'm sorry, I got lucky. They, they, don't, they don't call me the deal finder for no reason. Let's just say that. JBR EGR delete, I paid $15 for that. My Damon Motorsports Stage 1 old cash can with the VTA, I paid $120 for that. My JBR shifter bushings, I paid $15 for that. My cop shift weight, I paid $30 for that. Holy shit, there's so many. Cork Sport Boost Controller Solenoid, I paid $115 for that. My JBR 3.5 inch intake, $360. Oh my god, this just gets worse and worse. Holy shit, guys, I'm not even done. My Cork Sport Injector Seals, I bought that new. That sucked. I hated buying this shit, but it's just one of those things you have to buy it. Just get raped on it. It is what it is, unless you can find like a good deal. And I highly, no, I don't even recommend. I'm telling you, don't buy the injector seals used. They can only be used once. You can only buy them new. That's all I'm saying. Fully ported and polished stock intake manifold with a VTS, fuck, with a VTCS delete plus the paint I paid $220 for, which is a really good deal. Shout out to Tom if you're watching right now. Thank you for the deal. My Bosch 3 bar map sensor plus the adapter. You will need an adapter for the 3 bar map sensor if it's from Bosch. I paid $60 for that. And then my CX7 injectors, I got that off a of scrapyard for like $40. And then plus like the cleaning and like the o-rings that come with it it came up to around 180 dollars just to say the very least guys when you're cleaning your valves you know you're doing your injectors make sure to get your injectors flow tested and serviced do the injector seals clean your valves do that all at once you'll thank me later and then the last thing on the list is just the whole free tune e-tuning process i've paid around 400 dollars just in tunes i feel like it's probably a little more than that but i'd say give or take around like 400 dollars for like tuning like touch-up tunes bass tunes shit like that all from freak tune and that my friends for performance mod comes to a grand total of four thousand three hundred and twenty dollars damn holy fuck that's a lot of money guys that's a lot of money boys just for this piece of shit i know it's crazy before I tell you guys the grand total, I want you guys to go in the stop, pause the video right now, go in the comments right now, and guess how much I spent on the car. I'm really curious to see your guys. You probably have a good idea because I've already told you the totals for all the categories. But so the grand total I have spent for my Mazda Speed 3, ten thousand eight hundred and fifteen dollars. Bruh. Fuck. Holy shit, I almost freaked out. I was literally just recording this clip. Like it was just one full clip and then my, my phone just shut off and I thought like I lost the whole clip. I was so pissed. Yeah, like I was saying, if I had bought these parts new, I promise you, bro, like the total would literally be double. So just be smart. Modifying cars can be expensive. It's, it is what it is. You're, you're dumping money you're, you're dumping money into a certified money pit that won't make you any money back, I mean. But yeah guys, that about wraps up the video. If you wanna see how much money I spent on my car last year up until then, definitely ch check out that video. Honestly, I don't know if I really wanna recommend that video. That video was just terrible to watch. I was so shitty with my editing skills. I made like the background music so loud that like you could barely hear the freaking video. But regardless of the point, let me know down below how much you think you spent on your car. If you spent more or less than me, let me know. Be honest. I was honest. Jesus Christ. These cars are money pits, but it is worth it, man. Let me just tell you that shit. And side note, if you're a car guy, you must have a freaking lawn chair in your thing. Even though it's like the cheapest one ever, like this thing's a piece of shit to be honest. But hey, man, it does the job for like car meets and shit, but that's regardless of the point. Thank you for watching, bro. I appreciate you. If you're not already subscribed, definitely make sure to subscribe. Drop a like on this video, comment, all that bullshit. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay consistent. Peace.